This is SUN, Sheeple United Network, the hot spot on your world. Till the lights go down? Close the lid. It smells like a box of ass. Shh. What the hell are you doing? How am I supposed to have a rum and coke without the rum? You're not supposed to bring liquor into a movie theater. Oh, but it's fine to bring a big box of ass? Hi, I'm the food babe. Food investigator, blogger, and lover of animals. For instance, the majestic beaver. Oh, don't be shy, little guy. Come here. Beavers are great friends of man. They remove pollutants from our rivers and streams with their dams and lodges, don't you, little guy? But they also flavor a ton of foods at the grocery store. Yes, you do, with your little butthole. <laughs> don't you, little beaver? Your butthole. The FDA allows companies to use virtually any natural product to create a flavor. And castorium, typically called natural flavor, is taken from a beaver's anal gland. It's far cheaper to use castorium, or beaver's butt, to flavor strawberry oatmeal than using actual strawberries. They don't want you to know what's in that natural flavor either. Just try to call the company and ask. They'll tell you it's proprietary but there's nothing natural about the flavors they produce. So avoid products with natural flavors, and when you do, remember, you save a beaver's butt. Do your friends and family eat beaver's butt? Then share this video with them and let them know what's in their food. And go to foodbabe.com and sign up for updates. And until next time, I'm the Food Babe. What? I'm on your side. Hey, what's up guys, I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. You may want to think twice before baking any more vanilla cupcakes. According to the FDA, that sweet smelling vanilla extract comes from a rather unpleasant place. I'll just be blunt about it, it comes from beaver butts. <laughs> now, this isn't a new thing. Companies across the world have been using these furry guys behinds for over 80 years. The flavoring is made from a yellowish substance called castorium that oozes from castor sacs in between the beaver's pelvis and tail. The castorium then mixes with anal gland secretions and urine, making a disgusting territory marking concoction. As awful as this sounds, it smells amazing! When you eat most of your foods, your gut produces a really stinky bacteria that is secreted from your anal glands. But apparently, if you only ate leaves and bark, your butt will smell awesome. Go figure. Here's the thing though. I wouldn't exactly recommend using castorium vanilla products. To get just even the tiniest bit, you would need to well first catch the beaver, duh, and then somehow put it to sleep and then milk its butt. Yes. Uh, I would really like to find out how the first person discovered this. I mean, I imagine there was probably a lot of trial and error. It's such a weird and difficult process that only about 300 pounds of castorium are consumed yearly. Maybe that's why most of the vanilla producing companies have found new alternatives. However, beaver booty is still used in perfumes and other products. But you know what? Even if you ate a vanilla cake made with castorium, you probably wouldn't even know it. For one, it's completely non-toxic to humans, and second, Secondly, the FDA doesn't require companies to put beaver butt juice as an ingredient. Instead, bakers just have to list natural flavoring. What? Very sneaky, FDA. Very sneaky. Hi there! If you've looked at pretty much any food label, you've probably seen the ingredient natural flavors or natural flavoring. But what exactly is this super vague ingredient, and is it actually natural? The answer to this is yes and no. Natural flavors provide the taste of a food and are added to make a food more appealing and more uniform. The goal of a natural flavor is to make a short, intense flavor that quickly dissipates, leaving you wanting more. Bandana Chef, spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietics, believes that natural flavors can induce food cravings for some people. This may even help to spur food addiction in some individuals. The definition of natural flavor under the Code of Federal Regulation is, and I'm going to have to read this, the essential oil, oloresin, essence or extractive, protein hydrosylate, distillate, or any product of roasting, heating, or enzymonious, which contains the flavoring constituents derived from a spice, fruit, or fruit juice, 
vegetable or vegetable juice, edible yeast, herb, bark, bud, root, leaf, or similar plant material, meat, seafood, poultry, eggs, dairy products, or fermentation products thereof, whose significant function in food is flavoring rather than nutritional. Whew, that was a mouthful. Essentially, a natural flavor is a substance where the original ingredient is found in nature. The flavors, much like artificial flavors, are made in a lab. Let's say you're eating a strawberry granola bar. The strawberry flavor consists of a chemical originally found in strawberries, but then enhanced and added to the granola bar in a lab. What is listed as natural flavor in the ingredients list on a food label can contain anywhere from 50 to 100 different ingredients. Just two of these notable ingredients could be castorium and MSG. And in case you were wondering, castorium comes from the anal glands of a beaver. So knowing all of this, what can you do? The simplest thing that you can do is to keep on reading food labels and skip out on foods that list natural flavors or natural flavoring in the ingredients. The FDA doesn't require manufacturers to reveal their secret formula but you can call the company and ask what the flavors are made from. They don't have to answer you, but a lot of them will. And the easiest of all of these is just to make more of your own snacks from scratch using whole foods and fresh ingredients. And I want you to comment, <laughs> I want you to comment on this. It goes like this. Um, think you're better off eating foods with natural flavor? Chew on this. Secretions from the anal glands of beavers produce a bitter, smelly, orange-brown substance known as castorium that is used extensively in vanilla and raspberry flavoring. It's legally labeled as natural flavoring. Talk about that a little bit for me. <laughs> Yum. Beaver butt, right? <laughs> no, it's like every time I, I find all of these little things. Um, and, and every time it just floors me. And you can laugh about it because it's so absurd. Um, and and <laughs> it would be even more funny if it weren't scary. You know, if, if the anal secretions of beaver are in your vitamin water, I mean, what worse things are in there? It's just like something that can open your eyes to how... Look, this is a sad state of affairs, Sean, you know? <laughs> when, you're you're when drinking. eating and drinking beaver butt. <laughs> yeah, you're drinking ass. You know what I mean? That's not stale I'm ass. <laughs> but continue, I'm sorry. So, I mean, that's, um, originally when, when I was writing it, I didn't have that funny example in there. I just had, you know, artificial flavor from, um, and it started as a blog post, actually, uh, from McDonald's and a strawberry milkshake. It's, it's like 30 ingredients that you can't pronounce just in the strawberry flavoring part, and that's uh, an artificial flavor. But when you look at actually how they, were, how they were made and what's contained in these artificial and natural flavors, it's all pretty gnarly stuff, and it's, it's not good for your body. Your body has no idea what to do with it. You can't even pronounce this stuff. And, uh, you know, it's, there are all these stories of going off the New Jersey Turnpike, which is where a lot of these you know, chemical factories are, the flavoring industry, which is worth billions, and no one really seems to know that. And you can go in. Uh, and just like smell a hamburger in a test tube, and yeah. you can smell all these very specific things coming out of a test tube, and that's that's an issue. You're tricking your mind when you eat yeah. this stuff. You're you're tricking your body, and it's it's gonna screw you up. Um, I was actually just going over Nora Gagas's uh, book, Primal Body, Primal Mind, which is wonderful. Uh, really an awesome read and uh, very informative. And I think it was actually in the Ford. Um, that they talk about these, uh, the idea of a super stimulus. So when you drink a Coke or something really sugary or that has tons of flavor in it, um, your body is so overwhelmed by this super stimulus that you'd never encounter in nature that it, uh, it doesn't process the downfall, the sugar crash and all of the uh, icky feelings that you get after are covered up to an extent because you're still feeling all these ridiculous highs from, uh, from the sugar and all the other crap that they put in there, all the artificial flavors. It's nuts. I remember reading about that maybe 10 years ago in um, Eric Schlosser's book, Fast Food Nation. I was just totally just, just blown away by that, all the different chemicals that they use to make something taste like strawberry. Like, there's not really strawberry in your strawberry shake if you're at a fast food restaurant. Absolutely not. Right. It's just chemicals. And they're protected by uh, the FDA. They're tr protected by the FDA. Uh, to the trade secret laws, I believe it is. So if it ever yep. says natural flavors, artificial flavors, uh, that's a whole list of ingredients that you don't get to know about.
Certain flavors of ice cream, namely vanilla, strawberry, and raspberry, are longtime favorites, but have a dark secret lurking in their ingredients that not many people are aware of. If you've ever read the list of ingredients and wondered what castorium is, you're about to find out, but we should warn you that you might not like the answer. Castorium is actually a chemical that is found in the anal glands of beavers and is a perfect ice cream additive. The FDA says that it's non-toxic and safe to eat, but that doesn't make it any less disgusting. It turns out that castorium is regularly used to flavor ice cream, which makes us cringe just thinking about how many times we powered through a tub of substance removed from a beaver's anal gland. It's also worth noting that this castorium is sometimes mixed with actual beaver urine to enhance its properties. What do they mean by natural flavor? Well, this song is for you. Hit it, boys! I don't want no natural flavor. Beaver ain't a liquid, it's not for me. I don't want no natural flavor. Beaver ain't a liquid, it's not for me. Natural flavor is an umbrella term that includes a nasty thing. Like a sorry yum, which is a fancy word for a beaver ain't all liquid. I don't want no natural flavor. Beaver ain't all liquid, it's not for me. I don't want no natural flavor. Beaver ain't all liquid, it's not for me. Uh, we shouldn't be eating it regardless, right? Uh, I mean, look, the fast food lobby and the soda lobby are, you know, they'll, they can convince you that any chemicals are fine. Mm -hmm. I think that those, chem those chemicals are terrible. I mean, I would advocate that everybody, you know, eats natural foods that comes from farms nearby them. And I mean, that's sort of, you know, as you can tell from my sweater, that's <laughs> the lifestyle that I, I try to live. But, um, you, you know. Off the grid punk. I know, that's <laughs> what I should do. I should, you should bring me in to be an off the gridder. Kind of. <laughs> the off the grid correspondent. Yeah. yeah. Now, obviously, everyone can't do exactly what Brent is saying for financial reasons. I want to throw that out there because every time we say that, people yeah. start going crazy about that, and that's totally legit. Okay, let's look at a couple others. We've got L-cysteine, which is used to improve the texture of commercial dough for many breads and other baked goods. The source is derived from dissolved human hair, mostly from China, of course, or duck feathers. I mean, how? Oh my God. The, the next one's even worse, but, <laughs> but how do they even come up with that? How did someone think? We are going to take human hair and dissolve it yeah. and then make it into a chemical that we're going to use in our... Who? Is yeah. this just mad science? It sounds like it. I mean, how do you... Did someone, like, burn their hair? And it fell into and the then, dough. Yeah, yeah. And, then, <laughs> and the dough was better, and right. they were like... Oh. <laughs> like, I didn't have time to get the hair out of the dough, but this tastes amazing. Yeah, and if we don't have enough human hair, let's use some of those duck feathers <laughs> right. that we have. And isn't that funny? You go to a restaurant, if there's a hair in your soup, or freak you out. freak out, yet we don't have a problem. If it's dissolved and you don't see it, not a problem. And now, uh, the third one, and this may be the winner, castorium, which is also known as beaver anal gland juice. Just take a moment and let that seep in, no pun intended. Uh, it is. It is natural flavoring, which basically means it's what anything. Natural? Yeah, what is natural? As long as it comes from nature and it isn't created in a lab. So technically, this is natural. This is not a chemical. Uh, castorium comes from a beaver's anal gland and is used as a natural flavoring in foods and beverages like ice cream, <laughs> typically as vanilla, strawberry, or raspberry. Trayvon, I feel you know about this because before we started the show, you immediately yeah, said the raspberry I, thing. I saw that online because I love raspberry iced tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I should never drink. Who was eating a beaver's ass yeah. <laughs> and discovered and it this like tastes yeah. like vanilla, a little bit like raspberry? Right. Like, I gotta tell someone about this. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are missing out. Right, it's on the second guy that's curious. So, okay, maybe somebody ate a beaver's ass and was like, oh, this is pretty good. I want to. But then he thought, I'm gonna tell somebody about this, <laughs> right. I guess is the weird part. I just part. don't know how we have enough beavers in America <laughs> anymore. I mean, I understand during sort of the how Hudson does, project, how we do, have. How do you get them to sit still? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, like, a le that's legit. They're pretty, like, crazy, angry animals. Yeah, right. I think. Just like, sit still long enough to rub an ice cream cone on the butt. <laughs> and then take I mean, really, though. What the fuck? Why would I take that the wrong way? <laughs> Ugh. Tastes like stale ass.
like, subscribe. 